everybody out in YouTube land. I hope you are doing well. Um, this video is going to be about uh, a knife that I'm making for my upcoming giveaway. And uh, this is the blade that I'll be using. It's just a really nice, uh, really nice blade. Not, not super long, as you can see, but I think it's going to be a, a great, great knife. It's 440C, which is high carbon stainless. This is, uh, I didn't make the blade. It's made in Finland, but uh, uh, just a really nice hollow ground blade. And uh, so anyway, stick around and I'll uh, show you how to make a stick tang knife. Well, one of the first things that I always do uh, to protect myself and to protect the blade is just to put uh, a nice layer of tape on that. So that's always a good thing to do just to keep everything safe and keep myself from getting cut. Okay, well, here's the block of wood that I've selected as well for, for this uh, knife handle. I think it's a really nice looking piece of wood. Um, it has uh, got some bird's eye. It's, it's maple. And it's kind of uh, got some really fancy end, end cut there or something. I don't know exactly. But this is stabilized. And I think it's going to make a really great handle for this knife here. And I can't wait to see what it looks like once the handle is shaped. I will be using just a pre-made uh, bolster here. And uh, basically I do have to do some filing, as you'll see, to file this down just to get it to fit just right. And then... Um, then I'll begin to to drill in the wood here into the into the block of wood, and uh, I might actually I probably will cut cut some of this tang off here because this is going to go into the knife very well and it's going to be uh, super solid when when it all gets glued together. So yeah, I'll get started now on filing the bolster. One of the keys is to getting the best fit as possible when filing a bolster like this is to uh, file slowly and to not um, you know, make sure obviously you're not filing off too much and then to keep keep checking like keep checking and see it, how, how far am I I still have a ways to go this uh, tang isn't even fitting in there at all so uh, still have a ways but uh, keep on going slowly don't want to take off too much material because I want the, uh, the to be as tight as possible right there and it's a fine art to get it just right but uh, when you take your time you can get it looking pretty good well the uh, filing is done here on the, the first top piece of the bolster and uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good fit pretty happy with it um, I could have been a little better I wish uh, I wish it been a little bit better but uh, uh, it's still definitely a learning curve to get that uh, get that bolster right. I also ended up, uh, or also went ahead and uh, just uh, did a little piece of fiber here. This is uh, vulcanized fiber, and that piece will go there. And then I have uh, another thin piece of uh, brass, and uh, just got the got the hole drilled and then filed there. And so then that will be uh, just the the two the three pieces there that will go and then the uh, next step is I'll begin drilling the block drilling the hole in here for the tang to to fit in and then uh, then we'll begin uh, then we'll glue it up so that's the next step here to drill a hole in the tang okay here I have my uh, spot marked to drill my hole So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn to some of my favorite little tools here. And these are little hand wood rasps. And uh, they work work really, really well. Um, I used to use just these um, uh, little files here. And these work great, as you saw, for filing the bolster. But uh, they, they're they pretty fine. They don't take down a lot of material. So anyway... I uh, was able to find these online somewhere. I think I might have got them on eBay. 
and uh, anyway so they're they're just a cheap uh, little tool but they they work really well and uh, I'll begin doing that now to make the hole bigger so the tang will fit through Okay, well another tool that I forgot that I like to use quite a bit is uh, this little hand tool right here. I actually made this tool and uh, it's just made from a jigsaw blade and I just drilled a hole in a block of wood, glued it in there and uh, it works really really well to uh, cut out the, the hole for the tang. So well, let's do a test and see how close we are on uh, getting this to fit in there. Okay, well getting closer okay so we are in the uh, tang has been the uh, inside the handle has been all hollowed out to fit the tang well and, and now the next step that I'm going to work on after a little cleanup on the bench here is I'm going to finish the bolster exactly how I like it to look so I'm going to do something a little different on here I'm going to try a hammered just a hammered look I'm going to get my hammer and just ham hammer on there to give it just a little bit of a different look Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, you can see the peening that I did on the top of the guard there. I think it looks really cool. And uh, like I said, uh, like I've said several times, something different that I've done, uh, never done before. But um, anyway, I think it'll turn out all right. So, just getting ready to get my glue, get my glue set up, and uh, get uh, get the pieces all all cleaned off here. And for that, I'm going to be using acetone, cleaning off the blade, and uh, just get it cleaned off as best I can just so it'll get a very good bond with the glue. Well I'm mixing the epoxy here and uh, had to mix quite a bit because I've got to get it all down in the tang hole there so I always try to mix the epoxy so, well, I should say it's very good practice to mix the epoxy as well as possible. That way you know it's going to be the, the best bond as, as it can be. So really spend a lot of time mixing your epoxy. I've shared on other videos how I like to use <clears throat> golf shafting epoxy. It works really well. I have not had one knife fail and uh, I've had to cut, it up, cut a knife apart one time. <clears throat> that it fully dried and man let me tell you that epoxy was hard so really good stuff and then and then you just begin stuffing the hole full of epoxy okay so my tang hole is all filled with epoxy and now I'll just begin to just get the epoxy on the guard here and get Got the glue all there, and next comes my little piece of brass there. Push that all together. Final bit of epoxy on the last piece there. Which is obviously very good to use rubber gloves for that procedure. Okay, well, make sure I've got my directions going the right way. Got my arrow there, arrow there, so... In she goes. Yeah, look at that. Lots of epoxy there, so that's good. Lots there. Spilling over the side. I got that hole filled really well. Okay. And since we've got a uh, flat bottom here, um, I'm just going to set it in like this and uh, push, get the just get a little pressure on the blade there. I don't want, I don't, it doesn't need to be super, super pressure, but uh, just enough so that when the epoxy dries, if it happens to expand, or if there happens to be some other expansion in the, the uh, wood or something like that, it won't push, the, push it out. And uh, line the blade up there. And then I'm gonna get some uh, acetone 
just like I cleaned the uh, cleaned the blade up before. I'm gonna just wipe off the guard here because that uh, will be nigh impossible to get off if I don't wipe it off now. So, all right, well there she is. She is glued up and in the vise and uh, looking pretty good. Okay, well it's been it's actually been just about 20 hours since the first uh, since I glued this here. So I'm just going to take this off and inspect it a little bit. I'm not going to do any of the shaping today, but just want to get a look at the knife here. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. Kind of see the uh, looks pretty well perpendicular. So I've got some rough uh, pencil lines there, just the shape that I'm going to try to uh, make the handle. And so, anyway, it's looking looking pretty good. I'm just going to set the grinder up outside on my porch so I don't get all the uh, dust all over my shop here. It's messy enough as it is. Last thing I need is a coating of mm, stabilized maple dust. Well, this is a pretty obvious, obvious step here, but uh, this is just the, the sanding, sanding stage for the knife, and so works really great. Stick it in the vise, and I just use some old belts here that I've cut into little strips, and uh, they're really strong, stronger than normal sandpaper. So it's a great, great way to use uh, use extra or old sandpaper just. Do some sanding here, so anyway, just gonna be sanding this handle now for a while, getting all the scratches out, and then uh, just progressively going higher up in grits. Well, the sanding is done, and um, I uh, Went went all the way up just just to 400 grit, and uh, I think uh, I think it turned out really really well. And uh, then I decided um, instead of just uh, buffing it all out with with my buffer, I just put a couple coats of teak oil. And uh, as you can see, the the teak oil really brought out the the wood and uh, just some some nice uh, little bird's eye there, and just uh, just a whole variety of very unique. Uh, little patterns in the wood. So anyway, really happy with it. Really happy with it. Um, as you can see, let's see if I can point this out here. We have our brass brass guard here, and then we have that uh, dark piece, the black piece of uh, fiber. And then this is actually uh, it looks silver in the as I look up look at it. And you might be able to tell a little bit. It looks a little bit silver. It's actually brass, a, a piece of brass plate, and uh, unfortunately it's a little different in, in color. But uh, all in all. <laughs> I think it looks looks really good. So anyway, very happy with the knife, and uh, just going to let it dry here. And then I'll take off the the tape, and uh, we'll get get a better look and see the finished knife. And here is the finished knife. Uh, 
Um, I am really, really happy with the way that it turned out. Um, just this a piece of maple here is just, just amazing, just awesome. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with the knife. So anyway, appreciate you watching. Thanks for clicking on the video and uh, keep an eye out in a few days or so, maybe a week, while I have a giveaway for this knife and I'll explain all the details about that. Thanks again. Have a great day.